Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you three tips to film in low light situations using your small sensor camera and achieve quality results without nasty grains in your footage. This is no rocket science, so without any further ado, let's roll it. The number one thing to consider is that will be the ISO on your camera. You have to set your ISO right. Uh, ISO already is the International Organization of Standardization on which it is the main governing body that standardizes the sensitivity rating for your camera sensor. <laughs> right, in layman terms, uh, if your camera was a country, then the ISO will be the Ministry of Light in charge of supplying light to the country. That's basically what it is in layman terms. If you are using uh, the GH5, don't go above 1600 ISO. Already the GH5 has a, you know, a small sensor, therefore the 1600 ISO is perfect to shoot videos that can be used for any serious film project. The number two thing to consider would be the lens you slap on your camera before shooting the video. I know a lot of filmmakers like myself are running on budget, but really this is actually what really matters and it does matter big time. In reality, your lens is what is going to make the big difference in your image quality. Uh, there is basically no doubt about that. Um, I mainly use prime lenses for any you know serious projects, especially my films or documentaries that I do, because they do have lower f-stops and they also feed a lot of light you know to the sensor of the camera. They are very sharp. If you are using a Micro Four Third camera like the GH5 series, then you can gain extra stops of light. Uh, by using the Metabone Speed Booster uh, adapter or the Viltrox M2 adapter as well. Uh, you can use that with other third-party lenses if they are not native lens to the GH5. And now the third thing to consider is, guess what? Lighting. To avoid any cumbersome lighting gear to carry about, you can simply, you know, get the Aperture LM9 or if you have extra cash you can go for the Aperture LLMX. They are quite good source of lights and they are extremely bright for the purpose. Something you need to remember though is that they are certainly not going to be uh, the deed lights uh, but great quality source of light in terms of filling lights. Well I hope you found what I said quite useful and great so if you have any questions please do comment on the section below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. My name is David M and see you soon. Bye.